here's what's incredible about having a generalized data interface with the brain. A lot of uncurable biology problems where maybe even the mechanisms aren't understood or we just can't address them biologically are addressable by technology. Our first application is for people who have lost the ability to speak because of severe loss of voluntary motor control, paralysis because of diseases like ALS or because of spinal cord injury. If you have a spinal cord injury or if you have late stage ALS, there is currently no cure for that. You can't regrow a spinal cord. You can't regrow the neurons that used to help control your body. But the activity in your brain, in your motor cortex is intact. And so if we put a device in your brain and record the individual neuron signals, we know that it's possible to restore speech for people who can no longer move. That's been shown with older brain computer interface devices in the research lab. Last year, there was a group at UC Davis published in the New England Journal of Medicine and showed that they could give a clinical trial participant the ability to speak at 30 to 60 words per minute with really, really low air rate using only their BCI.